and quit. So if you were able to move on, and I'm going to tell you that you should be able to move on with at least one of the courses completed. You're going to look up and analyze the level time variability and stability of adjacent conditions. go on because the variability precludes identifying a predictable pattern of behavior within more than one condition or precludes the evaluation of the behavior change across adjacent conditions, then you're going to discontinue the will analysis and you will summarize the will analysis and not the evaluation. The next step is to look at the level time and variability of data in each condition. So for the participants that you can go on with, talk about levels. So this is how high or how low the mean data is. Trend, you've learned to identify an increasing trend, a decreasing trend, and no trend. And the variability or stability. So remember that variability is the best variability, the up and down. And once the intervention is implemented, you really want to see um, improved behavior, so a change in the level. Um, you can see a trend in the direction that is therapeutic. And you want to see more stability over time. So if you feel that there are clear data patterns within all conditions, so within the baseline phases you have consistency, in the intervention phases you have consistency, then you're going to talk about the level change and the stability, and talk about the trend direction and stability, and then talk about the amount of variability in each condition for each level.